All right, so let's uh, move on to Bacuccio. I always mess up that name. I don't even know if that's properly how to pronounce it. Bacuccio, Bacuccio, I don't know. Here's the thing. It's a um, interesting ingredient because it's a one that is found in nature, but it has qualities of retinol. So consider it, you know, like a plant-based or natural retinol alternative. And that's where, you know, you see it kind of propped up and hyped up on social media that it's, you know, it gives you the collagen stimulation, you know, the improving texture, evening out your tone without the irritation. Overall, I give it a seven out of 10. Um, it's a, it's a solid product. It has clinical studies. It's shown that it works. It does the things that retinol does with fine lines and improving um, firmness and texture and all those important things. And it's more definitely more gentle than retinol. The way I would look at it is if you can tolerate retinol, then use it. If you can't tolerate it, this might be an alternative. It's actually found in Enrich, our barrier balm that we use basically to decrease transepidermal water loss and get some of that effect. So hydration plus um, some anti-aging effects, but it's a very, very good ingredient, but don't fall for the, it's better than retinol marketing. I, I wouldn't put it there.